Born around 1473 in Ipswich, England, Thomas Wolsey's life story is one of remarkable ascent and eventual tragedy. From his humble beginnings, Wolsey's intellectual brilliance was evident during his early education at Oxford. After college and due to influential friends, Wolsey was able to gain a place for himself in the court of Henry VIII. But what made Wolsey stand out among the sea of ambitious and politically astute men was his enthusiasm for the king's policies. Unlike other advisers, he wholeheartedly embraced Henry's decisions on both domestic and international matters, firmly standing by the young, inexperienced king as he navigated the treacherous political landscape. As the years passed, Wolsey became indispensable to Henry's political ambitions. He would also play an important role in the international realm, and because of the influence he demanded, he was eventually made a cardinal in 1514. However, it was Wolsey's very success that would eventually lead to his undoing. Henry had grown accustomed to Wolsey's ability to achieve desired outcomes, and thus any failure would breed suspicion. The eventual catalyst for Wolsey's downfall came when Henry sought to divorce his first wife, Catherine of Aragon. Fully aware of the slim chances of success and the potential consequences, he initially begged Henry to reconsider. He feared that his inability to secure the divorce would seal his doom. But despite his misgivings, Wolsey fervently pursued the divorce, facing numerous obstacles along the way. Growing impatient with the slow progress, Anne Boleyn began to question Wolsey's loyalty to her cause. This suspicion led her to seek Henry's favor in replacing him with someone she could trust. As it became more and more clear that the Pope would not grant Henry an annulment, Wolsey's status as chief advisor to the king became endangered. As is common among individuals with substantial power, Wolsey had made many enemies, including the Dukes of Norfolk and Suffolk. Together with Anne Boleyn, they swayed Henry into removing Wolsey from power. Grateful for years of friendship and loyalty, Henry allowed Wolsey to maintain his title of Archbishop of York, along with some estates. But tragically, after Henry discovered Wolsey's correspondence with his ex-wife Catherine, he would order his arrest on charges of treason. Knowing that execution awaited him, Wolsey, old and infirm, would pass away on his way to London. With that said, here are 12 interesting facts about Thomas Wolsey. Fact number one. He graduated from Oxford at the age of 15. Fact number two. His father left him nothing in his will besides land that he was already legally entitled to. Some historians have mentioned that this was because he had grown distant from his father while away at college and could no longer relate to him. Fact number three. He had a mistress and two illegitimate children. Although priests were required to remain celibate, this rule was frequently ignored and did not hurt one's reputation. He would eventually send his mistress away for her to marry, and she would name her son with her new husband Thomas, after the Cardinal. His daughter would eventually live the majority of her life in a nunnery, until its dissolution, and though his son would be trained with the best tutors, he was constantly in debt. Fact number four. Although a Cardinal, the Pope, Leo X, strongly disliked him. Pope Leo delayed as long as he could before moving forward with him as Cardinal, and his friends would say that there wasn't a man alive that the Pope detested more than Wolsey. Fact number five. Though granted numerous religious offices, he rarely performed any of the spiritual duties required of him. Wolsey was much more focused on trying to ingratiate himself with the king and getting involved in government affairs than his religious responsibilities. Fact number six. He rarely gave money to the poor. When someone had asked him about this, he would infer that money was better to be invested in buildings than given to five or six beggars. During this time, pomp and splendor played a large role in an individual's reputation, and the cardinal would invest heavily in his appearance. Fact number seven. At the height of his power, he was so well respected that Oxford would refer to him as your majesty. Fact number eight. He had a well-known reputation for accepting bribes. He had once told a merchant that if he wanted a discount on the goods he was importing, he would need to provide him with 100 of his best carpets. Fact number nine. He was so hard to get a meeting with that even ambassadors and delegates had to wait months to see him. Even though they would be in the same city, it took one individual five months to get an audience with Wolsey. Fact number 10. When he would get stressed or worked up, he would gnaw on his cane. Fact number 11. 
he was so worried about catching a contagious disease that when in London, he would put an orange filled with vinegar up to his nose to prevent bad air from entering his body. Fact number 12. He had once sent two apprentices to the London Tower for accidentally splashing dirty water on a French envoy. One of the apprentices would die in the tower and the other became disabled after having his legs and ankles bound for days. And those are 12 interesting facts about Thomas Wolsey. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like, subscribe and comment below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.